districts should be for all wrestlers in your club. Um, I know there are some clubs that, for some, whatever reason, they, they choose to uh, only take kids to districts that they think can place top four uh, to go to state, but I, I really would discourage that type of uh, mindset because uh, I think it's actually more detrimental to a wrestler to be able to somehow uh, acknowledge to them and say, uh, you're, we're, we're not going to want you to go to districts this year for what reason is that? Is it, are you going to actually tell your wrestler that we don't feel you're good enough? I mean, I, don't, I, I firmly believe that that kind of mindset um, being instilled in any type of athlete in any kind of sport is way worse than what you have to deal with if you take that same wrestler to districts and they go 0-2. There's going to be wrestlers at the tournament that are going to that are going to lose twice in a row because that's just the way tournaments work. But it's going to be up to the parents and the coaches to do the building up of that wrestler when they're done. There's always positives in every loss that a wrestler ends ends up putting on their record. So with with those losses, find the good, build your wrestler back up. Do not tell them that, hey, we think you're not quite ready for districts this year. Districts should be for everyone. We don't require uh, membership cards to it, and that's for the reason that we want to make sure that all the kids can come, enjoy the competition, go with their friends, and, uh, and compete in, in the district tournament, and then they can move on to, to state from there.